Hey folks, it's Masterpiece. Today I got a Black Series review, uh, and it's going to be a little bit of a different Black Series review today. It's going to be one of the Holocom Collection Black Series figures. Now this is a new line that uh, was announced way back when. There was only going to be a few figures that uh, were going to be a part of this line just to start off. I'm going to be opening this, giving you my opinions on what I think about this new line from the Black Series. Now this pretty much, I believe, replaced the Credit Collection and the uh, Carbonized Collection. There wasn't too many fans of either of those lines. I was more of a fan of the Credit Collection. I didn't think it was that bad, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to get. I just like the idea of, you know, doing different repaints based on the uh, concept art from the TV shows, and I like that it had like uh, pretty much like a coin, a credit, so to speak, and it had different credits uh, with different figures. So that was pretty cool, but uh, it looks like that's not going to be lasting that long. I have no idea. Hasbro is really bad with communication on whether they ended lines or not. I believe they announced that they were going to be ending the Carbonized Collection and the Credit Collection. Uh, but then, like, later on ended up revealing more Carbonized figures, like, weeks after they announced that. So, I have no idea. But this seems to be another kind of Credit Collection that they're adding to the line. So... This is Din Djarin or The Mandalorian. They had a few other ones. I believe they had Han Solo. I can't remember. I believe Bogatan was another one that came in this uh, Holocom collection. Just random, random figures, uh, which I don't think they should have gone that route with it. Uh, if you ask me, they probably should have done uh, the Mandalorian for sure because he did we did see him in Holocom form in uh, the Mandalorian season 2 and uh, let's see we also saw a Moff Gideon and my personal favorite that I think they should definitely release in this uh, Holocom collection is Emperor Palpatine that way, that figure can serve two purposes. It could be a Holocom figure, or it could even be kind of like a one-to-one -one scale uh, kind of cosplay type thing. If you want to cosplay as Cody, Commander Cody, you can have the puck right here that these figures come with to help it light up. And you can have uh, the Emperor Palpatine toy in your hand, like, he's executing order 66 that would just make sense right so you know not too many figures have come out in this line but we're gonna get right into it so it's quite a bit of accessories he comes with his jetpack the ib94 pistol and then the ambin phase rifle also comes with the puck right there it does require batteries. It says down here that it requires uh, three AAA batteries, but those batteries are not included. Bunch of warning signs. Hasbro logo on the bottom right. Then for the mural, they have just a Holocom image of Din Djarin. I believe this either says wanted uh, i have to check that out I'm pretty sure that says wanted and then it has the uh, credit amount at the top there the image on the side is kind of 
engraved almost kind of pops out it's textured so you could kind of feel that popping out the back has a brief little description I could bring it up closer so you could pause the video and read it if you'd like And then the image on the back also has some information. So it has a hologram effect, includes bounty chip or bounty puck. I thought it was called bounty puck, but right here it says bounty chip and lights up. More warnings, more attention labels. Nothing on this side. That's the top. And that's the bottom. All right, so here's everything out of the packaging. All the accessories laid out. The bottom of the box does include this little manual. You've never seen this before. And this will pretty much describe what you have to do in terms of like installing the battery. So there's some instructions right there on opening that bottom part up i believe it takes a phillips screwdriver to undo that latch on the bottom of the bounty puck yep and you need three triple a batteries put the figure on the puck and then there should be a on off switch which is right there pretty tiny Kind of blends in with the rest of the with rest of the design, but uh, that one kind of pops out a bit. So, all right, so let's take a look at this stuff. This is the sign right here, the wanted sign with uh, the amount of credits that uh, Dinjarin's worth. Here is the IB94, pretty small, standard size for the Black Series. It's pretty cool that it's see-through. I'll give them that. That's really nice. It's kind of uh, not too flexible. I don't want to break it. I don't want to try to bend it too much. But yeah, it's pretty flexible stuff. Here is the Ambin Phase rifle. Nothing new there. And then. For his last accessory, you have the jetpack, Rising Phoenix jetpack. Now with these small pieces up here, I would definitely assume that those are pretty fragile, so I would be careful with those parts. Same with the jetpack thrusters down at the bottom here. And then we have the figure. So it's obviously not soft goods cape. I don't know how they would do that with actual soft goods. I'm sure they could figure something out, but um, they went with the plasticky clear material for the cape. Articulation should be the exact same as what we've gotten before with this character, but we'll go over it. See if there was any kind of compromise that they had to do to make this kind of stuff. Double joint knees, that's cool. Uh, okay, yeah, swivel at the thigh just kind of tough to loosen those joints up you do the splits the hip plates don't get in the way that soft plastic is flexible enough to not get in the way of the articulation same with this side he he has the uh, pistol holster on this side
midsection articulation is good. Arm. Elbow. Wrist. Head. some good stuff not bad you could still see some really good detail so you could still see the mud horn on his left shoulder pauldron all the detail on his gauntlets his bandolier and belt you still have everything it's just hard to kind of see because everything is clear and see-through, so. What's really neat is like other stuff like this knee armor seems to be its own separate piece. So you could see completely through that since it would technically be really thin, kind of like the pistol. And then you can see the rest of the leg underneath that. So I thought that was cool. And then this is it's the same thing with the cape. The shoulder pauldrons. And the belt. So I'm going to put his jetpack on. I put uh, the pistol in his hand. One other part that you have to do is put the wanted sign onto the puck. Somehow. There we go. It's kind of loose, it feels kind of loose, so it's not that big of a uh, peg hole to house the little nub on the bottom there for that to go into. It's tiny, so. I already have my batteries in there. And I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna turn off my computer screens. Really quick. And let's see what it looks like. Hold on just a sec. There we go. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, let's try this again. That looks pretty cool. And if you're kind of posing it in front of like the TVC scale figures like I am doing here, it kind of looks somewhat fitting like if they have like a giant holocom emitter you can see boba sitting in the background with fennec big fortuna and chrysanthemum it looks like they're kind of just bringing him up on holocom let's see i'm gonna turn it on again See that? Kind of fits. All right, so what do I think of this? Uh, I think it's cool. I like it. Um, I'm not sure about all the random characters that Hasbro decided to release in this. Holocom line. I don't think they should have done a whole lot. I think it should have just been certain characters, a few characters that they do. That way they're not spending a whole bunch of money producing these, uh, this Holocom collection line. Because I don't think it's for everyone. It seems a little weird. Uh, 
uh, is it better than the carbonized collection and the credit collection sure i i like it i like that it included the bounty puck and like the little wanted sign here with the credits that uh, they're worth it's cool it's just i don't think it's enough to entice the majority of the black series collectors out there and right now in a time where uh, the black series in my opinion has been struggling uh, as opposed to uh, the vintage collection uh, you really need something that's that's going to catch the attention of a lot of people and you know fly off of shelves while at the same time having hasbro supply all of that demand i don't know i don't think i will be getting the rest of the collection i think uh for now dinjarin is definitely a must for me because i mean it's dinjarin you know <laughs> if they released like uh, emperor palpatine that's a different story i'd probably go out and uh, purchase that figure i think that one would be pretty cool like I said, you could do lots of things with the Emperor Palpatine one, like do a Commander Cody cosplay and have the bounty puck of Emperor Palpatine uh, in the hand so that you can reenact the Order 66 scene. That would be really cool. But I don't know. I don't think it's something that I'm going to be uh, buying too much of. Anyways, what do you guys think of this new Holocom? collection line leave your comments down in the comment section below uh, like this video share with a friend and subscribe that's gonna be it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one